achievements. Amen. It's all about the finished work of Jesus at the cross. Amen. Hallelujah. And we will touch grace this morning. Because when we touch grace, we touch Jesus. The moment we touch Jesus, we touch the grace of God. Amen. Hindi po pwede na you touch the grace of God, then Jesus will not turn to you and give you what you need. Remember the... The, the bleeding woman, the moment she touched the hem of Jesus' garment, she received her healing. Before pa tumingin si Lord sa kanya, before pa tumingin sa kanya si Lord, she was already healed. Amen. Sabi nila sa isip niya, Lord, if I could only touch the, the hem of your garment, I will be healed. Then she received her healing. And then Jesus looked at her and said, Your faith has healed you. Amen. So that is the last part. Your faith, that is the last part. Part. Amen. When you when you, you when you look at Jesus, you behold Jesus' glory. Hindi pwede walang mangyayari sa iyo. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, hindi pwede. Hindi pwede. Amen. Hallelujah. So uh, uh, let me remind you that grace is not a doctrine. Hindi ko to doctrina. This is not a teaching. This is not a message. Misa tanong nila anong message? The message is grace. It's about grace. But it's not just about the message. Amen. It's not just your healing. It, it's not just your prosperity. It's not just your abundance. It's not just your salvation. But grace is a person. Amen. And his name is Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Pandaan po natin, pag nandiyan si Jesus, nandiyan po ang lahat ng bagay. Where there is Jesus, where there is grace, there is everything. Where there is grace, there is your healing, there is your prosperity, there is your abundance, there is your salvation. Because everything is wrapped up in the grace of God. Everything is wrapped up in Jesus. Amen. Amen. And uh, grace is unmerited. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, unmerited. Unmerited. Unearned. Unearned. Undeserved. Undeserved. Favor from God. Favor from God. I hope you will receive the abundance of grace. Sabi sa Bible, we receive the abundance of grace. Ibig pong sabihin, we, don't, we just don't receive grace one time. We receive the abundance of grace. We receive the fullness of grace. Grace for grace. Grace for grace for grace for grace. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And wala, wag po tayong mauumay sa grace ni Lord. Amen. It's just like eating fried chicken every other day or eating your caldereta month, every month. Amen. But the grace of God is so much than, more than that. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, uh, grace is unmerited, unheard, and deserved favor from the Lord. But the moment you merit it, the moment you try to achieve it, the moment na dinadagdagan mo yung grace by your words, it's no more grace. Tandaan po natin yun, amen? It's no more grace when you add something to the grace of God because grace is complete. Grace is Jesus. Amen? Hallelujah. Some people cannot believe that there is nothing they can do to earn salvation. Amen. Somehow, we received that um, teaching before. Amen? Yes. No, we need to, when we, receive God, when we receive Jesus in our hearts, after that, we work out our salvation. Amen. Hallelujah. But there is nothing you can do to earn your salvation. Amen. They cannot, they cannot add anything to the grace of God. It's like si Cain. Kilala po natin si Cain. It's like Cain. He offered everything. Ano bang inoffer ni Cain? Some of you can still remember. The toil, the fruit of the ground, the fruit of his work, the fruit of his doing, instead of accepting that it is only by the sacrificing of the Lamb that he will please God. Amen. Hallelujah. So grace can only be received. Are you ready to receive from the Lord? Yeah. Romans 1, 16 to 17. Let us all read. 1, 2, 3. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. 
For it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also for the Greek. Can we read louder than that? Amen. Amen. One, two, three. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, unveil more of Jesus this morning. Holy Spirit, do what only you can do. Not by my might, Lord, not by power, but only by your spirit. Yes. Lord, thank you. Let me speak spiritually to this man and woman of God in this place. Lord, anoint their ears to hear as you have anointed me to deliver your words. Lord, thank you. By your power, by your glory, you will manifest this morning. And Lord, thank you. You alone is to be praised. You alone is to be worshipped. Unveil more of Jesus. Thank you for the gift of wisdom, the gift of understanding. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So here, si Paul po yung nagsasalita dyan. Amen. It is Paul. Uh, he is Saul. The uh, Saul of Tarsus. Remember? Ang pangalan po ni Paul back then is Saul. Amen. He is Saul of Tarsus. And by the way, Paul studied under the greatest teachers of the time. He, he was a first century rabbinical Jew. He was a rabbi. He was a Pharisee of, a, of Pharisees. He was so intelligent. That is Saul. Amen. And he had an encounter with Jesus while traveling to the road of Damascus. Amen. When he was traveling on the road of Damascus, he was actually carrying a letter to the priest of the, in Damascus. What is that letter for? Nandudun po sa letter na lahat po that, that, that lahat po ng follower ni Jesus will be killed. Amen. Siya po'y tumutugis. Actually, the stoning of Stephen, he was he was accounted, accounted for him. Siya po yung nag-go signal doon. Then they stoned Stephen to death. Amen. So he is a murderer of Christians. Amen? Buti po dito sa Pilipinas, walang ganyan. Amen? Amen. Anali, pero po sa ibang bansa, napakahirap po maging Kristiyano. Because the moment uh, they know that you are a Christian, they will uh, persecute you. They will try to uh, isusuplong po nila kayo. So, bawal na bawal po. They gathered uh, uh, underground. Amen? So, uh, bawal po magbukas ng Bible. Hindi po bawal magbukas ng Bible sa bahay natin. Amen? Amen. Hindi bawal sa mo sa katabi mo. Amen. Hallelujah. You can read your Bible habang nagsisiyar ka. Why not? Amen? Why not? Take every opportunity to meditate from the Word of God. Amen. Because meditation is power. Amen. You, you meditate the Word of God, the Torah, the instructions of God, day and night. And it creates power inside of you. Amen. It, it transports grace from your Bible to the grace inside of you. Remember the word haga, meditate, it spells like hey, gimel, hey. It means the grace, and Gimel is a picture of a camel. So you, the grace that you are reading, that you are meditating, transports the grace to the grace inside of you. So you are an enabled minister of God, enabled man and woman of God. You are empowered, amen? You speak out of your overflow, amen? We all know that when somebody is speaking, because we have the Spirit of God, we can discern things. We know if he had meditated the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So let's meditate daily the Word of God. But if you did not read your Bible for the whole week, huwag na po natin taas ang ating mga kamay, you are not condemned. Don't feel condemned. Don't feel guilty ever. You just need to feel hungry. Amen. Don't feel condemned. Don't feel guilty. You just need to feel hungry. Gutom ka dapat sa worthy Lord. Amen. Hindi ka papayag na hindi ka kakain. 
Sino dito papayan na hindi kumakain araw-araw? Amen? Wala nga. I miss it nga because of we learned that we learned that breakfast, we need breakfast kasi sabi po nila, according to uh, the studies, nakakasira po ng ulo ang hindi nagbe-breakfast. Sabi po nila. Amen? I, actually, I've read that. So, medyo nakaka-epekto po talaga sa utak yung hindi nagbe-breakfast. So, sabi mo sa katabi mo, nag-breakfast ka naman, di ba? Hallelujah. So, we, we eat from the Word of God. Amen. We eat from the Word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So, here, Paul had an encounter with Jesus while traveling with a letter to the priest in Damascus to arrest Christians and put them in jail. And look at this. After Paul or Saul, great encounter. I named it great encounter. Why? He personally encountered Jesus himself. Amen. So Paul has a great encounter with Jesus. And God changed Saul's name to Paul. You know what was the meaning of Saul? Saul means have been prayed for, have been asked for. So in the mind of God, even you are still in your mother's womb, God knows your purpose. God knows your plans. Amen. God knows His plans for you. Amen. So look at this. Saul's name is asked for or prayed for. But he changed his name to Paul. And Paul in Hebrew means humble. God's grace makes us humble. Amen. Amen. God's grace is so good. Amen. It makes us humble. Now we don't criticize one another. Amen. It's no more the language of the church. Amen. Amen. We don't criticize one another. We don't persecute one another. Yes. Amen. Amen. We don't look to one another. We are holier than others. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We, we don't see others' flaws and mistakes. Are you still here? Hindi na natin hinahanapan yung katabi natin. Amen. Why? Because in the first place, all of us is undeserving. So now, we now understand that when he commit or your, your, your neighbor has something with uh, an attitude or what, now you understand that he is in the process of the grace of God. Because we are all in the process of the grace of God. Amen. Amen. Grace makes us humble. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Changing us from glory to to glory, to glory, to glory. Yes, Amen. Kaya masaya po tayo when we see people change not by our uh, pushing, Amen. not by our influence, Amen. but by the influence Amen. of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because real change is effortless. Amen. Amen. Real change. Ang tunay ng pagbabago po, effortless yan. Because if it is your real power, that uh, leads you to change your life, it will also your willpower that will cause you to maintain that change in your life. Yes. Hallelujah. And we all know that physical change or, or man-made change is hard to maintain. Amen. Amen. Magbabait-baitan ka niyan. Mamaya. <laughs> In-overtake ka, kinat ka. Ayun na. Naglalabasan na. Amen. But let, let the grace of God flow into your life. Amen. When we see our neighbor or, or some of our brothers and sisters in the church na para bang, para bang are they receiving grace? Don't mind them. Receive your own grace. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes. That is our church right now. Grace makes us humble. Grace, grace. makes us humble. Grace makes us humble. Hallelujah. So, uh, back in our text verse, Romans 1, 16 and 17, For I am not ashamed. Are we not ashamed of the gospel of Christ? Ashamed there in original is disappointed. Sometimes we feel we are disappointed, right? But never be disappointed with the gospel of Christ. You know what? In the church, uh, some preachers, some teachers, even some leaders are being disappointed with the gospel of Christ because they they thought 
This is the gospel of the Lord. But gospel of Christ is the gospel of grace. Amen. When you are uh, under the law, you live by the law. Amen. And your law will, the, the law will disappoint you. Amen. Because we all always fall short. So no, you break one, you break on. Amen. But the moment you know that the gospel of Christ is grace, I am not ashamed. I will not be disappointed with the gospel of grace. Amen. I am empowered. I am an enabled minister serving the grace of God. Amen. Overflowing the grace of God. Are you still here? Yes. So the gospel of Christ is the gospel of grace. It is the good news. In the old, old English, it says that God spelled. It literally means too good to be true. Too good to be true. Para ibig mo sabihin, yan yun? Kung hindi, it is not like that. It is not grace. If the gospel is not too good to be true, it is not grace you are hearing. But the moment you are shocked and you are amazed with the gospel, it is the grace of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So the gospel, the good news, the grace of God is the too good to be true. That's when religious people, pag narinig po nila to, they are being provoked. Parang something like, do you think? Tama yan? Do you think? Yan nga yun. Do you think? I, I, I just, I just receive it freely. So many questions, amen, with regards to the grace of God. But it is yes, amen, the grace of God uh, provokes some people. Who are those people? Proud people. But wala pong proud people dito. Amen. We are all humble here. Amen. They see themselves righteous than others, holier than thou attitude. Remember the harshest word ni Jesus. As I remember Jesus. Skala natin, Jesus is uh, is not uh, hindi nagalit, hindi nanigaw. Amen. Hindi po siya nagalit kailanman sa sinners. He loves sinners. Hindi po siya kailanman nanigaw sa mga adulterers, sa mga tax collectors, sa mga magnanakaw, sa murderers. Amen. Never. Never. Amen. But he was so harsh. Kanino? Pharisees. Religious people. Nakala nila sa utak nila. Alam nila ang Bible. They know the Bible had knowledge. But they don't know the Bible by heart. You know what? Every uh, every verse in the Bible has different revelations. Your revelation might be different from me, but if it is the Holy Spirit who revealed that truth to you, yes. it does not conflict any of the words that I've read. Amen. It just confirmed. Amen. Amen. Are you still here? Amen. So the Holy Spirit will not confuse us. Amen. Amen. So if, if you are confused, it's not from God. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit is peaceful. Amen. It will not create chaos. Amen. Hindi dahil na grace kayo, magwawala kayo. Amen. Hindi dahil na grace ako, kami, magwawala ang church. Amen? Amen. The grace we receive will empower us. To change from glory to glory yes. to Amen. glory yes. to glory. Yes. Not by our own might, not by our own power, but only by the Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, look at this. Remember the harshest words of Jesus? Ang sabi niya? Look at this. Napaka-harsh nito for me. Ay, ako marinig nito. You brood of vipers. You snakes. Kala ko sa pelikula lang ito eh. Amen. Ahas ka. <laughs> Ahas kayo? That is Jesus' word in the Bible. Then of thieves, mga magnanakaw kayo. Hindi kayo yun, amen? The Pharisees, mga galit po kayo. It's not you, amen? Sabi niya, you whitewash tombs. Meron ako kung gustong ipakita sa inyo, amen? It is not you, amen? I'm, we are not condemning anyone here, amen? I'm just trying to, to, 
to uh, to lay down to you the the picture of how good is our God. Yeah. How 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 good is our Jesus? Amen. Yeah. So, sabi niya, actually we could we could uh, turn it to Matthew 23, 26 or 27. Check mo nga Hallelujah. You whitewashed tombs. Sabi niya, biro mo. Mga ano kayo? Isa sa cemetery, right? Yung mapuputi. Ang puputi ninyo sa labas, ang kaganda, pero sa loob, ang baho-baho, ang bulok-bulok. Matthew uh, 23, 27, or 26. What to you? What to you, scribes and Pharisees? Hypocrites! Sometimes we are, we don't actually hear this from the church. But you religious people are teachers, preachers, leaders. <coughs> Look at this. But to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like whitewashed tombs, which indeed appear beautiful outwardly. But inside are full of dead men's bones and uncleanliness. Did you see that? Because you know that, Pharisees at mga priests po back then, ganito po kasi yun, process noon. For you to be forgiven, for you to be uh, cleansed, to be pronounced clean, you should go to the high priest. You should go to the Pharisees. For example, do you want to read Bible? You need to go first to the, to the temple and a Pharisee or rabbi would read it. Amen. It is not for you to read it. Then you have to come to them first. But you know what happened? When Jesus came, people are coming directly to Jesus. Amen. Why? They get healing. They were delivered. They received freedom directly from Jesus by passing them. Amen. It is not for us to, uh, to draw people to us. It is us to point everyone to the one. And His name is Jesus. Amen. Kasi mapapagod po tayo. Amen. Even I myself, kung magiging ganun po ang mindset ko, mapapagod po ako sa church. Mapapagod po tayo sa church. Amen. We are just pointers. Everyone to Jesus. Amen. Why are you so blessed? Not of me. But because of my Lord Jesus. Yes, yes. Why are you? You look like that. You are healthy. You are strong. You are prospered. You are blessed. It's not anything about my doing. It is all about my Lord. It is all about my Jesus. We are just pointers. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So, people are coming directly to Jesus. At nawala po yung trabaho ng mga pariseyo. Nawala po yung trabaho ng mga scribes and free priest. Now, they come to Jesus directly. They can come directly to Jesus. So, para pa wala na silang work. Eh, ang gagawin ka pa? Saan pa yung... So, what they have, what they do is, they are fencing people from learning the grace of God. Amen. They are fencing people from learning the grace of God. And you all know that the Hebrew for sick. Kung uh, you remember, diba? It is a he, uh, lament and a grace. Yes. He, lament, and a grace. It means when you fence people from learning the grace of God, you fall sick. They want people to get sick. Why? Because they want people na, dum na, dum na dumaan pa sa kanila. But it's not the way of God. Amen? Amen. Back then, Pharisees, scribes, pinahihirapan po nila yung salvation. Even religion. Amen? But Jesus make, made it easier for us. Just receive, just receive, and believe. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Can we give Jesus the highest praise? Thank you, Lord. So, now I understand with all of my heart that my part, our part as pastors of this church is just to preach the word of His grace. Amen? 
we are commissioned to serve to you the grace. Amen. Just to serve you, your food, the grace of God. Amen. Hindi, kasi sometimes, uh, naturally or with our humanity, we are sometimes being frustrated if we don't see results. Right? Kailangan mayroong resulta. Gaya si Abraham, si Sarai, right? The first place, sinabi na, pinangako na sa kanila ni Lord eh. Pero, parang ang bagal, 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 bagal. At sometimes, you know what? The grace of God, it's slow, it's a very, uh, very slow, but sure. Amen. Slow, but glorious. Amen. Grace can happen in an instant. But most of the time, it happens in process. Kaya yung katabi mo, working process yan. Sa grace ni Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. God is so good. So, now we, we just preach the word of God sa inyo, the pure grace of the Lord. Amen. And just point all kayo, kay Lord Jesus, the only one, not of our good works, not of our good works that can boast to the Lord or even boast to other ministers na sasabihin namin na because we are good preachers that we are good anything, amen we cannot boast anything from the Lord, amen because our good works cannot save you amen and, and I am being comforted by the Lord with this with His word when I've heard this uh sa Baguio. Uh, yeah. Kadarating lang po namin. For, for three days po kami nandun. And, uh, one of the preachers there is Pastor Mel Vero. He's one of the uh, great teachers in Grace. Light up in Grace with Pastor Jun Yu. So, Mel Vero. Hindi po, siya, hindi po si Pastor Jimmy last time. This is uh, Pastor Mel Vero. So, he was our speaker for three days. But then I was asked also to to dispense the grace of God. Sabi ko, Lord, Lord, how 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 could I how could I uh, you just sh- sh- just how could I share this uh, grace to these 50 pastors from different churches? But the Lord of God comforted me that it is not your doing. Amen. You cannot boast anything to the Lord. Just dispense the grace of God. Just preach the word. Amen. And the Holy Spirit will be the one to do His work. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So, my words cannot save you. It cannot even keep you. Kaya nga po may nawawala sa church. Amen. Our words cannot even keep you in this church. Amen. Sometimes we feel frustrated. I feel frustrated when somebody get, get out of this church. Are you still with me? Yes. Sometimes... Uh, siguro po, sometimes you are encouraged with us. Pero, not all the times, you are encouraged sa buhay namin. Amen. Amen. Hindi lahat ng oras, napi-please namin kayo. Amen. Sometimes, we disappoint you. Sometimes, you are disappointed in us. You are displeased in us. Amen. Amen. Sabi ni Lord sa akin, Jesus was, the people around Jesus was also displeased and disappointed with Jesus. Some of them, we're disappointed with Jesus. Amen? Yes. Even yung mga kasama ni Jesus, some, sometimes, they are feel disappointed with the Lord. Amen? So sabi ni Lord sa akin, hindi ka nag-iisa. So yung sa katabi mo, hindi ka nag-iisa. Amen. And I have been freed from this struggle. This is liberating. Amen? Amen. Woo! I am freed from this struggle. Hallelujah. Working so church na to. But the more I understand the grace of God, the more I, the more I seek God, the more I understand the grace of God, now I have the peace of God. Amen. It's all settled. Amen. That it is not me. It is not Pastor Alex. It is not the leaders of this church. It's not all about us, all about our doing. But it is all about Jesus. Amen. We just preach Jesus. And the Holy Spirit will do His work. Yes. And whatever happened with this church, just hear me. Whatever, ha- whatever will happen to this church, 
I do not, I do not struggle. I will not struggle. We just rest in Jesus. Amen. Ano man mangyari sa church na to? Amen. But I believe this is will be a glorious church. Amen. All for the glory of God. Amen. All for the glory of God. So we are just planters. Sabi mo sa katabi mo planter ka lang. Amen. Sabi ng Bible, we are just planters. Some watered it. Remember, Apollos watered it. But God gave the increase. Amen. Woo! God gave the increase. Amen. We receive from the Lord God's grace. We just throw it to you. Sabi ni Lord, takta, nag-struggle ka. Just throw the seeds. Yes. Just spread the seeds to you. At ang Holy Spirit na po ang bahala sa iyo. Sa mga Amen. words and the words of grace na, 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 na ihasig po sa inyo. Amen. Amen! We are just ministers of His grace. Able ministers. By the way, hindi lang ministers, basta-basta, hindi ka lang basta-basta minister. Sabi ng Bible, you are able ministers. You are an empowered ministers. If what? You minister the gospel of grace. Amen. Sabi sa Bible. Amen. Amen. If you, you minister the gospel of grace, you are being empowered. And God is the one giving you the increase. Amen. Amen. So not for me to be discouraged, not for me to be stressed. Amen. Do I look stressed? No. <laughs> not for me to feel uh, sorry about ourselves sometimes. Ano bang kailangan gawin ko? To, ano, how can I help? Paano bang galaw ko? Alam niyo po, ganun po talaga pagka marami po ang nakatingin sa inyo, right? Pero hindi po natin yun kailangan gawin. Amen. Kaya nga ngayon, it's first Sunday. Dapat nakadress ako. <laughs> But it is God's grace. Amen. Hallelujah. So, uh, we are all commissioned to do is to preach the gospel of His grace. Nothing more, nothing less. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, nothing more, nothing, more. nothing less. Because God said, I am. I am in control. I am the one. I am the head of the church. I am. Amen. Hallelujah. So thank you, Lord, for the cross. Now I can say to the Lord, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the cross. Thank you, Lord, for the church. Thank you for every member of the church. Amen. The work is finished. It is done, Lord. Thank you. So here, si Paul, Apostle Paul, Obviously, pakikita natin sa wording niya na I am not ashamed for him to say that ibig sabihin ina-attack po si Paul here. Yeah. Hindi pwedeng sasabihin na lang ni Paul na basta-basta good terms tayo sa sabihin niya. I'm not ashamed. No. He, Paul here has been attacked regarding the gospel of grace. Kaya po, tandaan niyo, when you share the grace of God and some people does not understand the grace of God because it takes the Holy Spirit to understand the grace of God. It takes the Holy Spirit to understand the, the grace of God. So, if if uh, here, obviously, he has been attacked regarding the gospel of grace that he received niya personally from God. So much so that he says, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Why? For it is the power of God to salvation. Amen. So what is the power of God? The gospel of Christ. The gospel of grace. Amen. For it is the power of God to what? To your salvation. Amen. And the power there is dunamis. In Greek. And dunamis is dynamite. Amen. So the, the gospel of grace is a dynamite inside of you. Amen. It is full of power. Enablement. So the word salvation there is not just escaping hell. So hindi lang yan. Uh, ka sa langit, hindi ka na pupunta sa impyerno. No. It is so-so in Greek. Amen. It means to heal, you've been saved, you've been delivered, to, you've been preserved, and you are prospered. The gospel of grace, it is the power of God to your salvation, to your healing, to your, del to your deliverance, to your preservation, their abundance. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Remember, yung pong thief, yung pong magnanakaw, dalawang magnanakaw, sa left and right ni Jesus, 
Naalala po ba natin yun? Ano po sabi niya? Lord, yung isa po ha, hindi po yung isa na sinabi niya, if you are really the son of God, baka hindi ka bumaba dyan, ligtas mo kami. No, the other, the other thief, ang sabi niya, Lord, remember me. Without long prayers, we are not disregarding long prayers here. You can ask everything you want to your God. The more you ask, the more you receive. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, without long prayers, without even fasting, imagine, kung sinabi ni Lord sa kanya, oh, mag-fasting ka muna. 21 days. Kasi bilo mo, diretsyo na siya agad sa, sa heaven, asking, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Marunong siyang humingi. Marunong siyang magsabi. Amen. Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The Lord did not say, okay, only if. Sometimes in the church, we always do that. Only if, only if. Amen? Or, umayos ka muna dyan, ha? Umayos ka muna. Um, pick up all your things. Ayusin mo ang uh, mga gawain mo before you go to church. We qualify people. Right? Religion qualified, qualifies people, pero not God. Amen. Because God qualifies you, hindi ikaw. Amen. It is because of Jesus. And Jesus was qualified. Kaya qualified ka. Amen. Amen. So dito sabi ni Jesus, when, when the thief said, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Wala nang, sabi sa, kung titignan mo, babasahin yung Bible, diretso. Sabi ni Lord, today, you shall be with me in paradise without any requirements. Without any saying, saying to him, confess your sins. But he just replied, Today, you will be with me in paradise. Amen. So this is the gospel. A too good to be true gospel. He took our place that we might take his place before God. Amen. Amen. So we did nothing to earn our salvation. Wala kang ginawa to earn your salvation. You do nothing by works. Amen. We did nothing to earn our salvation and we do nothing to, re to remain saved. I'm still here. Because the blood, we are being bought by the precious blood of Jesus. Amen? If the blood of the booth and goats can keep you for a year, sabi sa Bible, right? The blood of the booth and goats. Pagpunta nila doon, daladala nila yung uh, lamb nila. Tapos, uh, i-examine ng pare, itignan niya. Priest, ah, walang defect. Okay? So, ano mangyayari? Hahawakan nung hahawakan ng kasalanan yung ulo ng lamb. At ano mangyayari? Lahat ng kasalanan niya mapupunta sa innocent lamb. And what? What? Lahat ng innocence, purity ng lamb, mapupunta sa kanya. Napupunta siya with, the, with all the, the, the negative and all the sins, but he will walk away cleansed. Different. Amen. With the forgiveness of the Lord for all year round. So, uh, the Bible says, the blood of Jesus has redemption to you eternally. An eternal redemption. Amen? Amen. So, if you walk out here, mamaya, at nagsigaw kayo ng wife mo, or ng husband mo, wala akong connection yun sa pagkaligtas mo. Amen. You are still saved. Amen. Amen. You are saved forever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, uh, because the blood of Jesus, I believe, has saved us eternally. Amen. Amen. For one man's sin, one man's offense, di nga natin kasalanan yun eh. We, we inherit that sin. Eh, sino pa si Lord na by one man's sacrifice, we have received the salvation. Amen. Amen. So, uh, we, we did not, we do nothing to earn our salvation and we do nothing to remain saved. The church is not for perfect people. Amen. Sabi yung mismo ni Lord, hindi ako dumating dito para sa mga maayos. At... Amen. 
The church is not for perfect people. So if you feel you are perfect, you are not welcome in this church. I'm not the one saying that, the Holy Spirit. Why? Because when you're perfect, you should not be here. You should be in heaven. Amen. You are perfect. You are you're pure. You are pure. You are pure. You are you cannot do wrong. Are you still here? Because sabi ng Bible, at the throne of God. What is the throne of God? The throne of God is God's throne of grace. Yeah. The throne of God is the throne of grace. Hebrews 4.16, look at this. Hebrews 4.16. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace. Is that God's throne? Yeah. The throne of grace. Yeah. Sometimes kala natin throne ng judgment. No. It is the throne of grace that we may obtain, look at this, mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So if you are perfect, you will never be in time of your need. Because everything is perfect with you. Amen. Hallelujah. So look at this. You have mercy and grace when you come boldly to the throne of grace. And what is grace? Grace is unearned, unmerited, and deserve. You know what? The moment you sing, that qualifies you for the throne of grace. That qualifies you to the throne of grace. Amen. We are all sinners. Amen. But we have forgiven by the blood of Jesus. And look at this. Mercy. Mercy is not getting the bad things you deserve. That is mercy. For example, kailangan mo, kailangan mo parusahan? No. If you did not receive it, you obtain mercy. Yes. Amen. So mercy is not getting the bad things you deserve, but grace is getting all the good things you do not deserve. Yes. So when you come boldly to the throne of grace, you obtain mercy Hallelujah. as well as grace. Yes. Woo. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mercy. Mercy. Amen. God is good. Amen. You don't deserve curse. You don't deserve uh, now uh, sickness to your body because mercy. Amen. You, 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 you don't get the bad things you deserve. But grace, you get all the good things you do not deserve. Now you are the righteousness of God. In Christ Jesus, that is the throne of grace. Amen? Always have the mindset of the throne of grace. Every time you fall short, um, uh, you, you fall to sin, don't think of your sin. Just look unto Jesus and say, Lord, thank you. You have forgiven me and I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. The more you know that you are righteous, the more you walk in your righteousness. The more, the more you know you are healed, the more you walk in your healing. Amen. So when healing is manifesting in your life, has manifest in your life because you know who your Jesus is. Amen. You know that He is healthy. Now you are healthy. Amen. You know he, he is a prosperous. Now you know you are prosperous. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So you, you don't have to be self-made righteous. Marami po yan. Amen. They are self-made righteous. Sometimes we are self-made righteous. Are you still here? Alam niyo po yung self-righteousness actually. If you condemn yourself always, or you feel condemned always, na para bang nakagawa ka ng kasalanan agad, you feel condemned, you feel guilty, you are actually self-righteous. Why? You don't focus on the your, you don't focus on the righteousness of Jesus, but you focus on your own righteousness. In some extent, we are all self-righteous. I myself. But we are in the process of receiving some grace, the Lord. Amen. Amen. Changing our mindset, metanoia. Changing our mindset from glory to glory. Looking. Remember the word repentance in Hebrew. It is not. Repentance or crying to God, asking asking for forgiveness. No, repentance in Hebrew is return to grace. Shuba, amen. Shuba, Re return to the grace of God. So the moment you sin, 
just return the grace of God. Amen. Because sin was dealt in 2,000 years ago. It was not in the mind of God. The mind of God is that you know that by, the, by, by Jesus' finished work at the cross, you are righteous. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The righteousness of God Himself is a gift. Sabi mo, regalo. And that is irreversible. Irreversible. Amen. Ano yun? Sabi dito yung Tagalog, hinanap ko talaga, hindi maaaring pawalang bisa. Hindi maaaring maibaligtad pa. You are righteous forever. Amen. The moment you have received Jesus in your heart, nothing you do can make you righteous. But now after you have received Jesus, nothing you do that can make you unrighteous. Nothing can void and know what Jesus has done at the cross. This is the good news. This is the gospel of Christ. Too good to be true, but it is the truth. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Amen. Look at this. When we need uh, healing, we say, by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. Right? Alam natin yan, amen? We have uh, been taught with the word of faith. The moment we feel lying symptoms in our body, those are just lying symptoms because the truth is, you are healed. And the devil is just trying to take away that healing to you. Amen. So, when we are in need, we confess that the Lord is our supply. The Lord is our provider. But the moment you have sinned, ano sabi, na, sabi nila sa'yo? Confess your sin. Ask for forgiveness. But you know what? You have forgiven 2,000 plus years ago. When Jesus said, It is finished! Amen. Amen? So learn to say, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. That will empower you not to do, not to sin more, but to walk righteously with God. The more you know it, the more you will walk with what you know. Amen. Amen. So back to our text verse, Romans 1 verse 16. It, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who performs. Romans 1 16. For it is the power of God to, sa to salvation for everyone who performs. No. no. For everyone who believes. believes. Amen. So the gospel is true whether you believe it or not. But it it won't but it won't benefit you unless you believe it. The moment you believe it, you will benefit from it. Amen. If you don't believe Jesus has forgiven you, you will never walk in His forgiveness. And if you don't believe that in Christ, you are already holy and acceptable, you will always feel the pressure to make yourself holy, acceptable, and righteous to God. Romans 5.17, for if, if, for if by the one man's offense, Romans 5.17, that reign to the one much more those who receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign life through the one Jesus Christ. So for I am not ashamed of the good news of Christ for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes for the Jew first and also for the Greek. For in this grace balik po tayo sa ating text first. For in this grace in the righteousness of God is revealed sabi mo, from faith to faith. Verse 17. From faith to faith. Hey, can you all read that? One, two, three. For it in the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. Did you see that? From faith to faith. Some, some, think, some people think it starts with faith and ends in works. No, it's not. Amen. From faith, it, it starts with faith, it ends in faith. Amen. By the way, faith is not work. Amen. Be but faith is rest. Sabi mo sa faith is rest. Faith is rest. Your faith does not compel God to forgive you. Your faith does not move God. Are you receiving 
receive from the Lord. Amen. But faith is a positive response to what God has done. So kung ginawa na ni Lord yan, you release your faith, then it will manifest. It is a past tense. Amen. Faith is acknowledging every good thing that is already ours in Christ. So it means, just hear this, amen. Faith does not make things real that were not real to begin with. Ibig sabihin, hindi, hindi pinangyayari ng faith ang isang bagay na wala pa. Amen. If, if, if it's spiritually, it is not there, faith cannot manifest it. But if from the start, it was given to you, then faith makes them real to you. So if you spiritually, spiritually, you are blessed, you are forgiven, you are in abundance, you just need to manifest it through faith. And it will be manifested in the flesh. Sabi dito, di ba? Faith is acknowledging 2 Peter 1 and 3 to. Faith is acknowledging. Faith is acknowledging every good things that is already ours in Christ. Amen. So, Hebrews 11 verse 1. Now, faith is the substance of the things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Hindi nga sinabi dito na wala. Na things that do not exist. Are you still here? Amen. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Hindi mo pala siya nakikita. Pero nandiyan siya. Amen. Are you still here? Amen. So if you battle with guilt and condemnation sa heart mo, you don't need Jesus to come again and die again at the cross. What you, look, what you need to do is, you need to believe and have faith that He already died for you 2,000 plus years ago. And what happened? That guilt and condemnation sa puso mo will be uprooted in your life. So unless you have faith in the finished work of Jesus, you will not enjoy the finished work of Jesus. Lagi kang nagahanap. Because you don't have faith in the finished work of God. Amen? And by the way, faith is a noun. Faith is not a verb. A verb is an action word, right? Sometimes faith, we think faith as it is working. Right? But no, faith is a noun. It's not a verb. Faith is to agree, to be persuaded that God is He who says He is. Amen. And faith is being persuaded that He has done what He said He's done. Faith is God will do what He has promised to do to you. That is faith. Amen. Fully being persuaded talaga, you are being convinced. And when you are fully persuaded, when you really understand faith, now you can rest. Amen. The issue is settled. Wala na pinag-usapan. You are rested. Your mind is made up and your heart is at ease. Amen. You are at rest. So, do you know what is work? Unbelief is work. Unbelief is work. Yes. Most of the uh, uh, most of the verses sa Bible na unbelief po ang uh, context, it is used as a verb, an action word. But when you have seen the beauty of Jesus, faith comes easily to you. Yes. Remember, unbelief is the harder choice. Mas lalo ka mahirapan in its unbelief. Amen. You just need to receive the grace of God by faith. In Amen. Anyway. Amen. Amen. Sorry. Amen. Hallelujah. So, the gospel is not an invitation to pick up your tools. Amen? But to drop them off. Amen? So, hindi po ang uh, faith ay job fair. Para bang tatrabaho tayo o tatrabaho na tayo. No. Amen? Faith is uh, putting all your tools down. Picking up your tools, then putting it down. Amen? To drop them off. It, it, because this is a day of rest for us. Amen? So, faith is not something you must do or create in you. Because faith is resting in Jesus' finished work. Grace declares it is finished. The work is done. But faith responds, Thank you, Jesus. Amen. That is faith. Thank you, Jesus. That's all. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20 in NIV, it says, 
For no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ. Sometimes we think, kung approve ba kay Lord yung abundance mo? Kung approve ba kay Lord ang health mo? No! It is yes in Christ. All of God's promises are yes in Christ. It's not yes and amen. It is yes in Christ. And so through Him, what is our part? Our only part is to say, Amen. amen. That's only your part. Amen. Yes is the part of Jesus saying, Yes! When, when Jesus is standing here, sasabihin lang ni, ni Father sa kanya, Yes ba? Healing ni Papa's pride ni Abanan. Sabi lang ni Jesus, Yes! So your part is to say, Amen. That's all our part. To say Amen. Amen. Yes in Christ. And for us, Amen. That's all. Amen. Prosperity is for you. Amen. Abundance is for you. Amen. Healing is for you. Amen. Success is for Amen. you. Amen. Amen. Restoration is for you. Amen. Double portion. Amen. Rest is for you. Can you all stand up? Hallelujah. I pray that every time you come here to this, to this church, tapos kung saan man kayo nagpupunta, wherever you go, every time you open up your Bible, you do devotion, every time, ano man na ginagawa mo, you say to the Father, Lord, show me more of Jesus. Show me more of you, Lord. And build more of Jesus in our hearts. Today, God doesn't see you as who you are, but He sees Jesus in you. He qualifies you not because of your doings, but because of how perfect His Son, Jesus, is. God doesn't look you at, to assess you. God looks to His Son, Jesus, to assess you. When God wants to see how accepted you are, He just looks into Jesus. He is your acceptance. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Can we sing this song? Thank you, Lord Jesus. We just rest in you. Thank you for the word of grace. Holy Spirit, do what only you can do to them, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's sing this song. Thank you for the For the price you pay, wearing all my sins. 